Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So, what else do we have to do around these parts? Well, yeah, kill some bats, I guess. <laughs> That's uh, always a nice thing to do, I guess, in, in games, because bats always seem to attack you in games, no matter how cute they are. And I'm gonna leave that right side there for a little bit later because I want to get something set up for the future. Um, there is this gate right here, which is like the one outside the world. You can just, yeah, rat a tat wrap that out of existence. Uh, Mumbo's hut is over there, and I'll show you how to get there when the time is right. But for now, nope, nope, nah, I don't think so. Not quite ready yet. We're going in here. <laughs> So we got this Ouija board type thing going on here. Hi there! <laughs> Tumbler the Mighty. It's so mighty that it can't get the thing that's stuck underneath it. So about that Ouija board, we got a spell of Banjo-Kazooie here. So here we go. That's a Z by the way. So don't, don't be confused and also don't touch the Grunties, uh, where's the end? This is embarrassing. I forgot. Oh, there it is. I thought it was on this side. <laughs> and Jay, 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 need a Jay. Jay, yes, go, go, go. By the way, yeah, that, that one's that one's gonna be in your way. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, go, go, go. There be a clock. I don't remember what happens if the clock runs out. You probably take damage, you die or something. So let's not uh, let's not bother with that. And just do this for realsies, as if it's life or death. Oh boy! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab this. Oh, just because it's furthest out of the way. I think it's most efficient to do it that way than to go back and forth between these O's. O O I and the letter E. Woo! Victory is mine. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now if you like to take a peek see, uh, this is just a nice little bit of detailing around here. This is where if you've seen the light on the outside, this place sure looks a whole lot bigger on the outside and it does, I mean a whole lot smaller on the outside than it does on the inside. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? <laughs> Game logic. Yes. Don't question it. Don't question it ever. Anyway. I'd like to go up there to get me some notes, and I'd also like to show you this. Oh, thorns! Oh, pain! <laughs> yeah, so anytime you see those little flowery vine things, do not walk on there, it's painful. And just so I would get that out of the way for the future. And you know what I should do? Yeah, I'm gonna kill you guys. Well, maybe just one of you, because I, I just want to clear the path for the future, let's put it that way. And maybe you too, because why not? <laughs> there we go. And I'll also open this gate! Yeah! But I'm coming down here to do some other stuff. Uh, this well, I'm gonna save for when I transform, but the rest of the stuff I'm gonna get now. So I'm gonna start over on that end, I guess? I don't think I'm gonna bother with those eggs over there. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm not touching the water... Yep, that hurts too. <laughs> Say, I'm just gonna leave the eggs over there and whoa, whoa, whoa I'm way off angle poopers dang you graphical glitch too you are the bane of my existence that's a way to get back up well one way of getting back up there's another easier way to get back up though which is over here via the waiting boots which is my transportation of choice so there we go and I guess I'll just yeah get out of the boots right away because they're not gonna help me over here <laughs> There we go, and oh, oh, oh. wait, I don't need to grab that, I'll leave that for later. Oh, there's a, I guess you could say kind of new enemy, it looks exactly the same as the other one we've seen, but it's called Whip Crack. Yeah. <laughs> and I gotta get that Jinjo, obviously, which will involve, uh, well, I probably should kill it off, actually. Yeah, just to get rid of it, to make it nice and safe. And then I can get up here with a relative ease without having to worry about being cracked. Yes. I'd also like to get that mumbo. There we go. I don't have to dive to get that token at all. I just have to jump in the water to make myself plop in there. And now um, we've got ourselves a race going on here. See this right here? 
Get ready to go. Remember that? Remember that? That gate that we opened on the other side? Well, we got 14 seconds to get over there. Because this is the only way in there. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Piper speed. Go. Okay, we made it. Victory is ours. All right. So now in here, there's a bunch of teehees that are really in the way and are really annoying. So I'd like to kill them off with as few gold feathers as possible. Hello there. I would like to attract you over to this side where the other one is. And you, you were there, you too. Yeah, come on, everyone together. Everyone died together, yes. Well, put the other one up. Really? <laughs> I'm trying to not waste the gold feathers because they're pretty useful in this place. And well, I'm wasting the gold feathers. Well, they're all gone now, so. <laughs> no big deal. But yeah, this is a rather annoying place to do if you don't if you don't kill those things off. It's possible to do by leading them away, but it's not fun. <laughs> so let's just put it that way. So all I gotta do is get up here for, yeah, for one measly note on each of these booths for the ghosts. And yeah, it takes forever to actually get these four notes. <sighs> This is what I mean about this world. Probably taking three parts because there's a, there's a lot of stuff like this in this world that just take takes quite a while to actually do, even though it's not that difficult to do. Yeah, this world isn't really all that dangerous overall. It's just a thing of that. Yeah, it's it's pretty time consuming, and also if you want to do it in an efficient manner, it takes a lot of planning to do as well. And yeah. <laughs> Because there's a lot of, a lot of subtleties to this world of, you know, of all the multiple paths that you're seeing all around there and whatnot. And, uh, how do I... Oh, okay, there we go. That'll work. <laughs> Motsan, yes, uh, reference to Mozart. <laughs> Alright, so, I gotta follow him on the keys. And all we gotta do is just slam the ground. Boop. Whenever you see him hit a key, just hit it right after him doing that. And you will be quite pleased. Got it? Good. I think he's gonna hit this one, yeah. And you can always tell where he's going to by the by his movements, and you can pretty much get an idea ahead of time. There should be one more for this first cycle, and then there's a faster one with more notes and whatnot. Yeah, there we go. Woo! <laughs> this is definitely the least spooky haunted house you'll ever find in any game ever. <laughs> Even, even the ghost houses in uh, Mario games have a more spooky atmosphere than this one does. <laughs> but that's the name of the game with Banjo-Kazooie. Lots of humor all over the place. By the way, if you hit a wrong key, you're going to take damage, so try not to do that. Try and hit the right keys. And I don't know if we're playing any song in specific. We probably are. But, uh... I don't really know what it is, just offhand. Uh, there should be one more if I recall correctly. And, and oh no, wait, there's more, huh? I thought there was only that one more. Oh, 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 oh. Between the keys. Oh yeah. Whoosh! Heck yeah. And that's why I didn't go up top right away because, yeah, there's that right over there. Now, to get up there, we gotta go jump on the book. I don't know how the paper holds us, but let's not question it. Maybe it's just glued together or something like that, because, you know, paper is basically wood. And wood's pretty good structure to hold me, and there's a useless one up over there. For once, I'm just gonna ignore it. <laughs> I just don't feel like getting it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go down and get the other notes over here. And you know what? I actually have to go back the other way. I forgot the flight pads on the other side. So I'm actually gonna have to go and flip flop over here to get to, come on, camera turn, camera turn. Yeah, I need to get this flight pad for something important. Yeah, up here in the support beams, there are, well, bats of course, but there is an empty honeycomb. That's the second one. And of course, there's something else hidden over here. It wouldn't just be one thing a jigger. Oh no, no no it's too too simple. There is a mumble token over here. Might want to pick that up. And there is a witch switch. Heck yeah. Boop boop boop. Oh yeah. And how do we get that? Well we'll find out later now, won't we? <laughs> 
Um, eh, I don't really feel like getting anything else here, so I'll show you a little trick that I learned from someone in the comments. If you ground pound near the edge and then fall off the edge, you won't take damage. Yeah, uh, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure how to get down there a faster way than that, <laughs> other than, you know, taking damage. So it looks like I am done in here. So I can start flopping around the perimeter of the church type area place. And yeah, this automatically closes. And we still haven't met a ripper yet, but we will soon because there's a lot of rips around these places. Put some eggs in these uh, pots here. And by the way, if you missed, you can actually recollect those eggs. You. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh oh, oh, there's a ripper! <laughs> you can tell by their signature sounds. And you want to fill up all these pots with eggs because apparently your eggs have the power to flower the pots with their juicy nutrients. <laughs> Some people think that says F you, but uh, I don't think so. You know, because, you know, this is kind of an all ages game. So let's just put it that way. <laughs> And poop one in there, there we go. And uh, there's a there's a secret window that we can enter. Uh, it's got Banjo-Kazooie's face on it, but I'm not going to enter them until I finish this little... Oh, oh gimme, 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 Aww, I lost the egg. <laughs> but yeah, you just gotta do these first. Oh, no, 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 oh, you don't, no, you don't. I'm not losing my eggs. Actually, it doesn't really matter if I lose my eggs. I got a lot of eggs. Come on, we can get that in there. These these pots are strangely finicky, by the way. Come on, come on, come on. It looks good. No, it was not good enough. Not good enough at all. There we go. <laughs> Another ripper? Another ripper? No? Okay. Going, going, gone then. For... Oh, there's the window. Okay. Hello there. Boop. And boop. Yeah, just two, two hits and it's down. Not very threatening or anything like that. And now, as I was saying, <laughs> secret window. Whoop, take that. This is basically just a refill room, more than anything. And extra life of uselessness. <laughs> yeah, take that. Yeah, just just a refill room. Looks fancy with the lighting and whatnot, but yeah, it's mainly there. Just so that you can get your eggs and health back up with the enemies and whatnot. So there we go. Hey, no, 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 you don't. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Why did I grab that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think I did a full 360 around the church. So now we're gonna go up and around it. Starting from the tombstone here, and... Well, actually, I can't make that jump, can I? I guess I'm gonna have to use this one right here. Yeah, because I need to be in Talon Trot mode to stay on the roof. Because I'll, otherwise I'll slip off it. Well, no, no, don't waste the gold. <laughs> and I just want to go around here and get these notes, of course. Uh, okay. Never forget the notes. I'll get that one on my boot back. No big deal. And now up over here. This is kind of precarious, so be careful. <laughs> it's kind of kind of finicky. And going up this clock tower that's got no hands for some reason will take us out to the top. Oh! oh over there, and uh, now I gotta. Why did I let go of the Z button? That was just a total, total brain fart on my part. <laughs> I mean, Z was like my only contact to the roof, because Banjo here just does not do anything regarding the roof very well. <laughs> gotta be talon trotting everything up here. All right, let's try that again. We have no other choice but to try it again. There we go. Now to get these notes, uh, what I'd like to do is just gently, gently do little bunny hops. Just like right along the edges here. There we go, so I don't fall off. And needless to say, there is a shock pad there, but I'm not, not ready to use that just yet. I want to grab these. There we go, now I'll go back to it. And get ready to climb the weather vane, because there's a jiggy up top. Heck yeah! I'm gonna get myself down nice and carefully. Jump down over here. I was gonna jump on the roof, but that uh, that failed. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go into the maze, 
And uh, actually, I'm I'm nearing 15 minutes now, aren't I? Yeah, so I'm gonna open up this maze and end off the part here. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I finish off this world. Heck yeah! <laughs>